This year, 2020, started with fear. As we were hearing some stories on media, that uh, in China, there was a strange virus attacking the lungs and killing people within days. Nobody ever knew that this virus would spread globally and even to become a pandemic. Indeed, the rest is history because the World Health Organization soon confirmed and declared that the virus, which was named COVID-19, was a pandemic of worldwide scale. We witnessed gradual lockdown of countries, meaning that people were to stay at home and shutting down businesses and movements. Schools were also shut and people literally came to a standstill. And this was uh, uh, termed as a, um, a prevention against the spread of this virus, which was named the deadly virus. Uganda went into lockdown totally around the 23rd of March 2020. This effectively meant that all educational institutions were to be shut, including a higher education institutions, uh, universities. Uganda Matters University complied and began to function in ways that were widely not known in the new dispensation which they called the new normal. I want to thank the stakeholders whom I am addressing right now. And these stakeholders include students they include staff, they include the partners, they include those who are supporting the students whom we call benefactors, and all those who are next to us like neighbors, that they have kept us alive. From the start, the university opted to keep functioning in different ways, which we call the virtual ways, rather than to shut down. I'm happy that as we are ending this year of 2020, the university has not shut down. And we have continued to operate in very difficult situations, extending our services to students, especially learning and teaching online. We had some challenges of access to internet by some of the students, roughly 30% of them, who were in places that they could not access the internet. But we registered success when majority of the students appreciated the new ways the university was offering services. And therefore they went online and they continued their learning experience. We also came up with a COVID task force to ensure safety and the educational needs of our students and lecturers. We have been reaching out to stakeholders through Zoom meetings and surveys and drawing roadmaps as a way of coordinating the teaching and the learning experience in the new normal. As a result of these efforts, Uganda Matters University has now scheduled a virtual graduation which will be held on the 18th of December 2020, at which 800 candidates are expected to graduate. There are countless organizations that have helped Uganda Matters University to keep afloat. I cannot mention all of them, but I would perhaps say that the National Council for Higher Education has been on the forefront 
of encouraging us and not only Uganda Matters University but also other universities to continue the learning of students online. On behalf of Uganda Matters University and on my own behalf, I'd like to say a big thank you to all those who have continued to support these efforts. Their trust support has helped us to achieve the university's goal of a holistic education and learning. We look forward to working with you in this new normal, which I believe will not end, and soon it will be normal. I would like uh, to say thank you in a special way to the hardworking faculty and staff of Uganda Matters University in the different campuses of this institution. There have been a huge support in most of the time voluntarily because we do not have income in this time and they have kept the students active and committed to pursue their goals of education. Their commitment is outstanding and our students have greatly benefited. I want to thank you very much for providing this needed support and uh, the experience which is quite for all of us has been um, uh, immeasurable. I would like to request that our staff continue in this new normal. As I, I can recall that it was not easy to migrate to online teaching, there has been a lot of training a lot of introduction, orientation of the users, the staff and the students and now everyone is beginning to feel at home with uh, learning online. Uganda Matters University has been rated uh, high in the region as responding quickly to new situations. In Uganda, we were among the first four universities that were accredited or given permission by the National Council for Higher Education to put our programs and teach online. This was, I think, a very big achievement. And right now, we are in the forefront of, uh, uh, of leading uh, in this endeavor of teaching and learning online. As I speak now, we have taken all our programs on the learning on online uh, platform and uh, m our lecturers are continuing to teach students in the comfort of their homes and uh, the students are comfortable with it as far as I'm con I'm, I've been informed. This is something which I would like to attribute to God's assistance and uh, we thank God that he has helped us not to lose heart, to shut down the institution. I can imagine the whole of this year it would have been shut, but we continued to operate. And we continue to work in this situation of COVID-19 pandemic. My appeal is that we continue to develop and to adopt to the new situation uh, but also to keep safe in terms of uh, the spread of the pandemic. We have been advised by the Minister of Education, uh, Minister of Health, and also <clears throat> confirmed by the Minister of Education that we have to observe the SOPs, the standard operating procedures, wearing masks, uh, sanitizing, uh, we always, like uh, in my office, I always have this sanitizer, which is practical. Uh, you can always spray and uh, make sure that you don't harbor any infection in your hands. And also keeping distance. Uh, we have been contact conducting our meetings online, on Zoom. And people have now gotten used to making meetings uh, uh, virtually. And uh, I, I think we are going also to have this big experience 
of conducting an, uh, a, um, a graduation which will be virtual. I'd like to appeal the students to accept this. Many students are really not happy that they are going to have a virtual graduation. But uh, they will be the first of their kind and I think they will keep it on record and say we graduated virtually, they can have it as a story of their life. Uh, it is by all means no less than when they would have been here physically. It will be as good and I encourage the students to be happy in this new uh, dispensation. Put on your gown wherever you will be and participate in the graduation uh, virtually you will have a streamlining live streamlining on nbs television and we will also have it on youtube and facebook live so get yourself to one of these uh, instruments and then you will be uh, following and participating uh, live I would like to congratulate the class of uh, 2020 who are graduating. I would like to congratulate our stakeholders, the Uganda Episcopal Conference, the Ministry of Education and Sports, the National Council for Higher Education, our students, staff, parents, sponsors, stakeholders of all, of all types, especially our neighbors, and collaborators or partners in education. I congratulate you for having endured this new dispensation of the COVID-19, which has made life different, but also presented the opportunities. I pass this message of congratulations for having endured this period of this year, 2020, and to wish you a Merry Christmas and a very fruitful, prosperous New Year of 2021 where I expect that we will be innovative, creative and seizing opportunities and positive indeed to advance new knowledge and also new relationships as we uh, adopt to the new normal of the COVID-19 uh, um, pandemic we are not sure when it will end and I would appeal to our stakeholders to adopt and to continue living in this situation uh, for the betterment of our services and also the quality of life in virtue and wisdom lead the world thank you very much for your attention